you're ready to do your sh fuck it introduction. Oh, we're already recording. Okay. Yeah. Greetings, everyone. We want to no. talk about E3, so. No. That, that was that shit. Was boring. <laughs> oh my god. In fact, no, keep that, that in, cause it's, keep that in, cause it's fun to make fun of. Hi, guys. Uh, we're uh, we're uh, late. We're probably gonna rip off Brain Scratch, but we're gonna make an E3 video. We're not ripping yeah, off. This... Oh my god. We had this idea like a week ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is like a day after E3 is now just ended. Just because yeah. they uploaded something first, because they're yeah, on the ball. Obviously. But anyway, uh, um, we just wanted to share our thoughts on this whole thing about, like, you know, console war, the games coming out, all that. Yeah, we're mostly gonna be negative because, well, we hate, we just hated most of E3. No, we don't. Uh, I am. Let's speak for uh, me. Well, I, I, I count. I like, count like, like, no, no, no. The most it. hate for me goes to two conferences that we'll get to. Pretty much at first. You mean the two wait, conferences? That, yeah, the two this? conferences that come first. Yeah. <laughs> in order, no, no, in I'm order gonna, of no. conferences released, Jeff. Oh, I was gonna say we're gonna do it from best to worst or worst to best. No, worst no, for, which technically is from worst to best anyway. No, wait, if uh, we switch two around, this whatever. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Just go. Just go. Yeah. Okay, Microsoft. Uh, oh my <laughs> god. Oh, what you're talking I'll about. Say, I'll say this: they performed better than I was expecting. I was what so expectations did you have? Yeah, who didn't exactly uh, have any expectations to start with? I don't know about you guys. I know something for Connect games. Yeah, well, that's what we got. The first game that was showing off: Connect Sports Rivals. Yeah. Oh, yeah before they they, they lost the E3 conference before they started. I know. Uh, and it's like we were just poking jokes at Rare, announcing their new games. Like it's probably going to be a Connect game. It's like, yep. It's like rare. You're not. You're making it too easy for us. Fuck. Pretty fucking much. Uh. And then it's like they start off with um, they're showing off a new slim Xbox 360 for you to buy. Yeah, it's oh, like yeah. guys, you're supposed to be talking about the Xbox One, your new console. Oh yeah. The first thing that makes them basically desperate is like, oh hey guys, we know that our system's gonna fail. So how about you get a 360 instead? So Pretty much. That's what, that's what they're falling back to, is a previous console. By the way, go get a Coke. That's my recommendation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you get a lot more This Xbox is gonna be a while. Now tip me 50 cents, because I told you to go get a Coke. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, uh, we have a lot of things. Especially, yeah. especially, wait, that was like... I go back to that. That was like Microsoft's official like fucking PR response. Like you want a you want a console that isn't connected all the time. Go buy a 360. I know. Yeah, it's just, like even like the um the guy like uh what's his name like the actual guy who was through the conference. It's like uh, he was he was interviewed where it's like oh well we know that not everyone is connected to the internet so we have this new product. It's called the Xbox 360. <laughs> Such a smug fucking response as well. Yeah. Pretty fucking. He said it's such a smug tone. It's like, oh, you go buy a 360 then, you, you poor piece of crap. You poor piece. Of... Hey, yeah. If people still defend the company, as isn't it up, that, isn't it up to six hundred dollars now? The Xbox One. Yeah, it's up to six hundred dollars. Goody goody gum drops. And technically, if you're gonna buy membership and a game, seven hundred. What? Oh. Wait, wait, really? How, wait, yeah. how much is membership? So for... Membership is probably gonna be fifty dollars. Uh oh. Probably. I heard... I, I've heard From what I've read, 50. 60. I've heard people say it's 60, but... Uh... Oh, even better! <laughs> so, the games they showed? Uh, uh, they opened up with Metal Gear Solid Five. Such amazing stealth. You uh, turn invisible on a horse. Oh, uh, still moving. I, I have a yeah, the horse is... The, Xbox One. The, the horse is still moving, and it's like... Uh, apparently he's invisible? Like, what? But, uh, basically... It's a prequel. It's supposed to show how Big Boss becomes the villain for like the first two actual Metal Gear. Not Metal Gear Solid, but Metal Gear. Mm. Okay. Basically, concluding Big Boss's arc. Kind of, kind of late, but well, okay. You know, what they kind of did started with, um, I think it started with MGS3, then Portal Off, yeah. and then Peace Walker, and then they're ending it off with, uh, Phantom, yeah. with uh, Ground Zeroes and then Phantom Pain. Gonna be yeah. honest, I don't have a clue. And I just love Hideo Kojima. He came up for one line like, yes, this is going to be on Xbox One, and then left. Goodbye. Yeah, and then he yeah, left. Then, then, he, then he literally just sort of waved goodbye to the, to the fucking presence. And Max. <laughs> this game would be on Xbox One. Goodbye. Leaves. 
<laughs> and that, yeah. it's like, and now you can go play the other Metal Gear Solid games from the Legacy Collection exclusively on PlayStation. 3. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck's sakes. Well, I'm I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the Legacy Collection. Yeah, I know you are. Uh, the next um, game. Uh, God. What was the next game? Uh, uh, I next? think I think it was Killer Instinct, was it? I think so. Might as well start with that. Okay. Yeah. From the trailer I saw, like, at first, this was, like, first reactions, I was like, oh, man, Killer Instinct 3, man, this is going to be awesome. Then after the conference, the details came in. Uh, yeah. We're going to announce free to no, play. Yeah, it's a free-to-play fighter, but here's the catch. You have to pay for each individual character. But I, I know people say, oh, but they're going to make a retail version where it's full of us. Like, hey, yeah, but... Uh, it's not really free-to-play anymore, then. Yeah, it's not really free-to-play if you're doing that. And from uh, the looks of it, it just looks so stiff. And you know the people who are making it? It's not even rare. Company. Yeah, company. Double Helix. The same people who made the accomplishment of making the worst Silent Hill game ever. <laughs> Seriously, if it's not even handled by the original developer, why would you even care? Yeah. Uh, it's just... It angers me so much to see a franchise like that. Like, okay, I get, yeah, a B-tier fighter and all, but it's sad to see something like that just go downhill, um, like just yeah. like that. Okay, I'm gonna be well, honest. Again, I'm gonna you... be honest. I never heard of Killer Instinct before this. I, 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 I have, but I never get interested in the series. Well, I really not too like down on the, the fact that it's dying out. Considering it's gonna, it was gonna be an Xbox One exclusive, and fuck getting an Xbox One just yeah, for Killer Instinct. Exactly. Yeah. And knowing that, it'll probably get ported. Hopefully. Probably. I mean, uh, if it's on 360, I might, I might try it. Yeah. Or if, or if it's on PS3 and 4, that would be a pretty good buy. Well, the thing is, Microsoft owns all of various properties, I believe. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, they do. Uh, it's just like, but I don't know, man. It's like from looking at the new gameplay and all, it actually looks really easy. Because according to some videos I've seen, apparently all they did was just mash the button and they won. That's not how Killer Instinct is. No. Yeah, most I fighters played, are... What? I played Killer Instinct on my fucking Super Nintendo. I could not get away with mashing buttons for more than, like, what, two AI controlled opponents. That was, like, after the first that, two. Was... Yeah, after that, my ass was getting handed to me. Uh, uh let's skip, because fuck Killer Instinct. Yeah. yeah. What's uh, next? What was next? R I think Rise was next. Oh, oh yeah, are... Reese Rise, whatever. That looked awful. Saving, saving private, uh... Yeah, saving a hundred private Ryans. No, no, or no. Or saving no. King Leonidas. Yeah, saving King Leonidas. It's Leonidas. A, it looks like 300, but shit. And it's like, okay, graphically speaking, the game looks good. That is until you see some of the PS4's games. Um, just saying. Yeah. Uh, uh like some, where's... like, all the other, uh, the other fucking next-gen titles just look better. But this was first, so at the time it looked kind of impressive. But the gameplay is just quick time events. Yeah, it's, it's literally it's Indigo Prophecy if it was based around three hundred. Or I... or Silent Hill with actual com not Silent Hill, uh, Heavy Rain with actual combat. No, you might as well say Homecoming because Homecoming has quick time events. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It doesn't look interesting. It looks so boring. It's like, especially when they're marching in front, and it's like they're all grouped together to like block arrows. It's like move or move forward a bit, block, move forward a bit, block, move, move forward, forward a, a bit. bit, block. And then it's like, I swear, back then swords were apparently GPSs for catapults to lock onto something. Yeah, just because they just something. pointed at the goddamn tower and the. Oh. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. It's so stupid. I was just sorry, it just doesn't look interesting. Yeah. It, I was just looking at it in the stream and I was just going, uh, guys, what's supposed to be appealing about this? Oh, at all? Also, oh wait, we forgot one thing. World of Tanks, Xbox <laughs> One edition. Oh my hey, god. Guys, shut, up, shut up, shut up, shut <laughs> up. Oh my god. World of Tanks uh, looks awful. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, just saying this, it was a free-to-play PC game. It was released last year. You're not missing much. Oh, I know. And now you're gonna have to buy it. Buy it on the Xbox. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, no. Uh, let's just skip over uh, that one entirely because it's not even interesting to talk about. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> then there was also uh Max. Okay, resuming that recording. What were you saying next? What was next? 
Oh, uh, Max the Curse of the Brotherhood. The fuck is that? Uh, it's basically Limbo if it had color. I don't even remember seeing this. Actually, I remember it. It looked pretty shit. Yeah. It just didn't look that interesting to me, I'm sorry. Uh, Especially compared to the other indie titles that were shown off. Considering, yeah. I, considering I can't even remember it. Yeah. It's apparently going to be in a summer of arcade download, but I honestly don't care. Ew, summer of arcade. And apparently it's a sequel to a previous game. I didn't even know there was a previous game. I don't know. I never remember. I don't remember the fucking Max whatever series. Do I you? Know. Yeah. Played it all the time on the Xbox. Infinity. Xbox. Xbox. Uh, um, okay. After that, they showed off a couple what? other games. Uh, they showed off The Witcher 3. Look set, moving net. on. Uh, I'm not interested to Witcher, so. Sp they had like Spore 2, or what was it? What's the official Project name? Spark. Project, Project Spark. Spark, aka Spore 2. Mountain. Draw Butt Mountain. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I didn't understand what the point of it was. Like, like, what were they trying to go for? It's, like, it's, it's, I think it's just supposed to be some sort of, you know those god games for the PC, right? Yeah. yeah like Spore and White, Black for, and White. Uh, Yeah, for a console. Yeah, for yeah a that's basically what it's supposed to be. The only, the only so thing Viva Pinata? Oh. Kind of. So, I mean, you'll excuse me if all these games, if I'm not quite impressed yet. Yeah. yeah. And, well, they actually, the only thing that caught me interested for the trailer was the Rock Mech thing, Golem. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that did kind of look kind of cool, but, you yeah, know. Yeah, that, that was the best part of the, the whole Spark thing. Everything else was just kind of, eh. eh. Oh, yeah. and I know this is stupid to mention, but Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Oh, oh my yeah. fucking god. Because we needed another port of another horrible game. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I do not care for Minecraft. I don't care for Minecraft. I don't see the point. It's, le it's, it's building it's, blocks. It's Lego. Yeah, just bleh. Lego Minecraft. Lego had charm, this doesn't. Uh, Lego used to have charm anyway. Yeah. Kinda and then they start making more and more. Well, and the, all, all the games were the same. Anyway, m enough of that. Uh, uh Forza 5. Wow, another Forza game. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. It looks nice. And hashtag cool. cars. Moving on again. <laughs> no, wait. No, we had to talk about Drivatar. Drivatar. Oh, my uh, God. Drivatar. It's, it's a stupid fucking name. Moving on. Uh... Okay, now, um, then they showed Dead Rising 3, which looks nothing like a Dead Rising yeah, game. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like a Dead Rising game. How can you call it Dead Rising 3? It's like some sort of gritty, more gritty reboot, even though the game's already, you know, kind of gritty enough. Like the woo boot? Yeah, but at least it had, like, little cartoony elements. Yeah, the woo boot. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, this looks like it's handed over to Western developers. Probably is. Considering, you know, KG and the photo was kind of the brainchild between it, behind uh, Dead Rising, and he sort of left Capcom. Yeah. Another... So they probably just don't know what to do with it and just handed it to a Western developer. I think they did. I'm pretty sure they handed it to a Western developer. Um, then they showed off Battlefield 4. That's where it got a bit controversial. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where, when, when it crashed and it revealed, was it, did it reveal like the Packard Bell logo or something? I think so. And it was like, yeah, they were they were using PC footage, not even Xbox One footage. For yeah. every single game game they showed off, by the way. Yeah, because at E3, it's just you can see that clearly they're actually using PCs in the cabinets for the demos. Yeah. They just plugged in Xbox One controllers. We will, we will, we will pull the screenshot up hopefully, so you can guys see what we're talking about. Oh, do it. Oh. More editing for me to do. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah. One editing just to put in one picture. Oh, yeah. Okay. Screen. Why don't I give you the footage and you can edit it? Uh, yeah, no. I don't do you think really so. want to ha have Jeff edit footage, Owen? No. That's a joke. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Battlefield. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. If I'm just like, it's just like Call of Duty. It's just like, okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. It's the same every year. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh,. Um. Then that? after that, um, I guess the spiritual success Panzer Dragoon, like Crimson Dragon. Uh, it did actually look kind of cool. I'll give Microsoft that. Yeah. Although I'm not going to buy an Xbox One just for no, it. No, I'm not going to buy an Xbox One for it. But... I mean, I like Panzer Dragoon and all. This does look good. It's just... 
Oh. I just overall, I wish the console wasn't so bad. Awful, abysmal. I mean, I mean there are some interesting, there are some interesting games on it, but so. I don't want. I'll get it. We'll get it into the Xbox One when when we fucking end off Microsoft's conference. There's not even yeah. many interesting things like games for it. There are a couple new exclusives, but um, then like the makers of Alan Wake show off their new game, uh, Quantum Break. Uh, uh, it's, uh, I actually, I actually didn't really see much because that's where the stream just sort of fucked up for me. Well, well I didn't really know, understand what was going on. Was yeah, going on. I mean, if they showed more, like actual gameplay instead of just a trailer, then I could actually, you know, have a thought. So we could actually, you know, have more of a so, thought. Yeah, more of a thought. We would. It's just we only saw like a little teaser trailer at the conference, and that E3 was just another trailer. Yeah. And it's like, I, I would like to like it, because I really like Alan Wake. It's just, I don't know. It's just, uh, I think we're missing, I think we're missing another game. Uh, Sunset, no, Overdrive. Yeah, Sunset, Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. Overdrive. Eh. It's an Insomniac game, but I'm waiting for this to be turned into a gritty Left 4 Dead series. No, Ian, it's Crackdown 3. I keep telling you this. Uh, Crackdown 3. My god, shut up. No, I'm serious. Hey, no, okay, I'll give you that. The enemies look like they're from Crackdown. Yeah, no, it's like, like if if you guys don't know, the enemies from Crackdown Two, they look exactly like the, the like the zombie things are killing in the trailer. I'm fucking serious. That's what they look like. Yeah. Um. I have nothing to say on Sunset Overdrive. It just looked like a zombie game with a cartoony style. Yeah. Not yeah. interested. Even if it, when it comes to the Sonic, I'll just stick to Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Yeah. Thank um, you very much. Okay, one thing that looked actually okay was Titanfall. Yeah. No. It, I thought it was okay. Looked, I thought it was alright. Looked like shit. Didn't, didn't, like a didn't fucking really, generic shit. It didn't leave yeah, any like those sections, but the mech sections, like if the game was just that, it actually might have been. Uh, it I, didn't no. really leave an impression on me. Yeah. I see. Th <laughs> I see this kind of mech shit in Halo. It's nothing new. Fair enough. Oh, so, oh, speaking on that note. Oh, the teaser, the teaser trailer for Halo, where the guy it was a guy in a cloak, and and it's like. From absolutely nowhere, it blows the cloak off his face. It, oh, it's Master Chief! <laughs> like what? Oh, it, it, it got me completely off guard. I remember, I remember, I remember being in a Skype call with, with you, oh, and you just screamed what? Yeah, yeah, I Halo. screamed what for quite a while. It's combat is truly evolved. Yeah, they're finally using the title from the first game. Oh my god, so six games, like six games later. Yeah, six games later. Ugh. <laughs> But it looks like a Destiny knockoff now, and that's sad, because Destiny's supposed to be the knockoff of Halo. Yeah, because that's the next Bungie game being made, and Des we'll get to Destiny when we get to it, but it looks awesome. Yeah. Um, Although, I'll give, it, I'll give it this, Halo games have not disappointed me in the past, apart from Re Reach. Um, but we don't talk about about Wait, what about ODST? Yeah. I was never excited for that in the first place, so I can't be disappointed yeah, by I it. I was about to ask, did you really have any expectations for it in the first place? I liked Halo 3 a lot. I liked, I really liked Halo 4. 3, 4, Halo 3, 4 did, really 3, 4, really 3, I would give them the, 3, 4, 3 Industries did an excellent job in Halo 4. That's I the, mean, it's the one game that makes me want to play my Xbox again. I mean, I'm not hoping that Halo 5 will turn to be better than Halo 4, but I'm least hoping that it's actually, you know, still good, like the other entries, minus two of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, uh, I, I, I'm speak assuming it's. Go hang on. on. It's it's supposed. To, I'm assuming it's not going to be a game you you'd buy an Xbox One for. But no. It's a game you, oh God. You'd like, no. Like go oh yeah, I'm going to buy a six hundred dollar console to get one game. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. No, but it's no, but I mean, it's like it it, it is a game you you'd really want to play at your friends' house who actually was stupid enough to buy one of those fucking things. Yeah. If that was the case. Yeah, I'd play it. Um, but on that note, actually, when we were talking about Spark. They showed off the Microsoft Smart Glass. Oh, it's you mean the fucking you, it, tablet? It's, it's just how you can just fucking connect your tablet to your Xbox One. It's Nothing stupid. special. Oh, it's dumb. Nothing fucking special. It's, it's really stupid, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like it adds anything to the game. Or anything at all. Yeah, or anything. To anything. Mm -hmm. uh, um, anything else? What else did Microsoft show off? I think we've done. I think we're done the Microsoft conference. Um, I thought Titanfall was the last thing we showed off. Well, we talked about Titanfall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think we're done. 
Well, honestly, the only thing I have against Xbox is that they weren't fucking addressing the the elephant in the room. They Pretty addressed much. nothing about the fucking console itself. Yeah, yeah, and it's weird considering that the, the whole like first release was entirely about the console itself. That's what left everyone with so many bad impressions. And they, they, could, tr- they, they, they could have just you know explained it, but it's like, oh no, we're not gonna tell anything. We're just gonna show you the okay, game. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Like, what, what were you guys talking about? Oh, we're uh, just talking like, about how they I mentioned like nothing about the console in the three. Uh, the Xbox One. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it- Paying so, fees for games. So many bad. There's so many bad business decisions. We can't go over them all right now. It's impossible. It's like every bad thing you could possibly think of a console is all here. Yeah. All, and for the company itself, that's just disappointing. And it's yeah. only it's only an extra two hundred dollars in a PS4. It's like okay, when the 360 was shown off, what they did was they focused on gamers. They focused on their consumers. Xbox Live, playing with friends. That's what they focused on. Now it's the complete opposite. I don't get it. I mean, they weren't. I mean, they weren't that bad with the 360. I mean, it had decent titles, more than reported, of course. But uh, yeah, it had it's decent, just... uh, the, the the library of games. Uh, well, okay, a lot of the exclusives were FPSs, but it still had a decent library of games. The yeah. console itself, though, from speaking from personal experience, is very unreliable. I, I I just think it's a very, I just think it's just a mixed bag with mixed bag with most people. Yeah, it's a mixed. That's, bag, what, it, that's yeah. what it is for me. Yeah, sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it it'll just basically. Just sometimes it'll just smack you across the face saying "ha ha." Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much all the games. You know, we had to really cover. Just yeah. The conference itself just blah. Yeah. It was off. Uh, it was pretty shit. Although, again, they, they did keep to their word and actually talk about games, although maybe they went a bit too overboard because, again, they said absolutely nothing about the console itself. Didn't address any issues at all. Yeah. yeah. Basically, basically, in general, just ignoring the fucking elephant in the room again. Wasn't an awful conference, I guess, but considering the controversy, on top of everything else, it was by no means a good conference either. Yeah, at all. It was just bleh. Uh, so I think we're done with that. Yeah, we're done with the, uh, yeah. with the we're done with Microsoft conference. Now, <laughs> you know, let's just move over to what I feel has taken over Microsoft for the and worst. And what I feel is the worst. The worst com- ever. Yes, the EA conference. Oh. I actually I'm, I haven't watched the EA conference. I kind of just listened to you guys talking about it in a call because I'm gonna be honest. I don't care for any of EA's titles. No, do we? I mean, they pu- they can publish some great games, but they don't make them. Like, they published Mass Effect 2, for example. Uh-huh. Why? <laughs> um, so what did they start off with? Oh, yeah! Oh, how could I forget? The shooter remake of Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> Garden <laughs> Warfare. Oh, <laughs> my God. It uh, looks so stupid. <laughs> What, who was bright idea was to make an FPS of a board game I, mean, I can see that as like an April Fool's joke, like this is funny and all, but this is an actual game. I know they're actually making this. This is like a Shadow of the Hedgehog moment, like what? This this is a joke? Like I was listening to you guys talk about it and as soon as that fucking trailer went on YouTube, I checked it out. I was, my mouth was open. My mouth was open during the entire thing. This can't be, th- th- yeah. This is an actual thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. What fucking what fucking dumbass? Fuck this. Yeah, up. it's a really stupid thing. But I want like I wanted to like they won the award for fucking unfunniest conference of E3. Oh. I'll yeah. give them that. Considering the huge, they like, they did a huge fucking oh. Peggle two. Peggle two joke, Peggle and two. then you could literally hear the crickets chirping. No, they weren't even crickets. Yeah. There was uh, this amazing, there's this amazing silence in the room. Then they immediately, and I mean immediately, cut to the next game. Yeah, and then he immediately went to the next game. They're like, oh fuck, the one left. I think they showed off gameplay of Titanfall again. Yeah, and the thing was, oh yeah, you could hear the fuck, <laughs> you could hear the EA employees during the game trailers. I know. Uh, it was horrible. Fun. Speaking of EA, we're probably going to skip most of their games because they're sports. 
Yeah. Yeah, Although, sports, 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 sports. Okay, sports, wait, 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 sports. hold on. I know it's a teaser. I know we didn't see any gameplay for it. But Star Wars Battlefront. Whoa. Uh, uh, I never played I know it. none of you are excited for it. Because it's Star you Wars. Also, yeah, I, I have no you, interest you in Star also, Wars whatsoever. You you also have to keep in mind that dice the people who made Battlefield are are go, are gonna yeah, do this I one. Yeah, I know one, it so. all, but I'm at least. I'm just happy. saying. I'm don't at least your happy to see that it's returning. Because I do like myself some Battlefront. Well, it's well, well. Remember, Ian, it's it's made by dice the people who made Battlefield. Five second yeah, I'll, teaser I'll keep trailer. i of that, but we'll see as time goes. Five second teaser trailer. Uh, For all you know, it could be Star Wars Battlefront go kart racing. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then they add uh, a Plants vs. Zombies DLC. Oh my fucking god. Uh, uh, what then they showed off Need for Speed Rivals. Looks blah. Yeah. Never cared, never cared for Need for Speed. It's one uh, of my more least favorite like, racing games. Should we talk about the game? Should we not talk about the game where everyone was screaming their pants for and basically said, Oh, oh, Me oh, oh Mirror's Edge 2. Yeah. Because the first one wasn't shit. Yeah, the, the first one. Ever. Okay, the first one was executed horribly, and this one doesn't look like it's executed any better. I took a look at the footage that we got. It looks exactly the same as the first game. Lighting problems and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I could see one having an interesting concept, just the execution. They oh don't look like they've learned anything from the first game. Yeah, they're just making it. It's like, oh, you want it? Oh, okay. We'll just copy-paste the first game. There you go. It's two. Uh... Then, I um, think that's it for yeah. another couple. There's a Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, who gives oh, a Dragon, fuck? Dragon Age Three. Yeah, it will basically. Because everyone loves Dragon Age Two, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of people love Dragon Age One. I'll give them that. But everyone yeah, loves Dragon the, Age Two. Yeah, Dragon Age Two. But but the sequel kind of shit over the over the entire your franchise's name. So. Yeah. Uh, it's just there. I I I liked one, but two. Oh, two. That's for another time. Drag Dragon Age 3. Every boss is now the brood mother. Oh god. Yeah. No, no. I'm sorry, Seven I can't six. I can't get that image out of my head. That's so fucking disgusting. I know. Uh then they showed off NBA Live 14, NFL Madden 25. And FIFA. 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 <laughs> and UFC. Oh my god. The UFC joke they did. What was it? Uh, what was the joke? Well, they did a joke, I, I think I missed it. Yeah, no, it's like, um, you know, like a referee. It's like he had a mic come down and he was like calling out. Like, oh, that. Guests. That was so stupid. Uh. I didn't get It's like, what? Okay, okay, guys, I think you're trying a bit too hard. Yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's just sports, sports. Who cares? Yeah, sports, 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 EA sports. Then they showed more Battlefield 4. Yeah, uh, they yeah. showed a and whole then they showed, like, the, the city gameplay. Oh yeah, they basically committed 9-11 in-game and everyone was cheering. Yeah, <laughs> much. It was, it was kind of fun. I mean, I know it's bad to make 9-11 jokes, but still, this is just like, yeah. oh god. Oh come on, get over it, it's been fucking... Well, I know. How, how many oh, years has it been? been? 10 years? I'm sorry. I get that at all still. No, I'm not saying it's, 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 it's like, excused, but come on. Yeah, I get uh, Okay, that, that, we're getting a bit too controversial here, let's, uh, let's get off that topic. I mean, I don't, I'm just sad that all the people. Okay, we. Okay, get off the topic. I said, not let. Yeah. All right, after the amazing lag face cut out. Yeah, okay. as we were saying, uh, that's actually all the uh, games. Yeah, it, uh, it was yeah. a really black conference. It's an awful conference. Then again, it's EA, so I wasn't expecting much. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but at least those, at least we have the absolute worst out of the way, and now we're getting to positives. Uh, yeah. Well, wasn't Ubisoft next? Yeah, yeah Ubisoft. Ubisoft. From what I hear, the, the, the general consensus is that, is that while, while the games they showed off were good, they didn't particularly show off anything new. No, but it was a good conference nonetheless. Yeah, I know that, no, it's just, I, I go to E3 to see, like, new game announcements, and Ubisoft really didn't deliver that. I never saw <laughs> Fair it. enough. Um, well, they opened up with the announcer for the conference. Oh, hashtag Girlwood. Hashtag Girlwood. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's... What is the joke? Apparently, she had a it's joke. apparently from something from last year. She came. She she came on. She came on the stage and she had a T-shirt and it said hashtag Girlwood. 
Okay, why? It's a joke from last year, apparently. Apparently, I, I'm, I don't really get it. It's just funny to make fun of. Yeah. Uh, then they opened up with Rocksmith 2014. It's a guitar simulator. Eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I'm sure it will be a great tutorial and all. Just Whatever. I already know how to play guitar, so I'm good. Hey, see, you do? Guitar. Okay. Do? Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, then they then they played Splinter Cell Blacklist. Oh god, Splinter Cell. Fuck Splinter Cell. I'm not interested. I like a couple of the games, but this one just looks so... Ugh. It doesn't really look... It's really stealthy. It just looks like Conviction. <laughs> in the in a more desert-like area. Um. Then they showed off one of the more interesting ones, Rayman Legends. I have to tell Rayman you. Legends... Shut up. Rayman Legends look pretty good. Uh, I know. I, I mean, that's one of my more anticipated ones. I know we've yeah. seen it before, but it's still... It, we've seen actual gameplay now, and it looks pretty good. And it looks really good. Yeah. But mostly, mostly the ones where they basically reference the music and all that. Oh, yeah. Like, there are levels where it's like you play remixes of Black Betty and Eye of the Tiger. It's awesome. I yeah. know. <laughs> that It's like... It's like... Four games should actually try to do that. that, that it's like, that's actually pretty good. I'm so, that is I like, just, my main thing that I really hope for is online play. Yeah. Yes. I, mean, I, I want to really play like that. I want to play with you niggas. Yeah. Yeah. I would not just meet up and play then. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I think that's like my second most anticipated one. It's my most anticipated title from Ubisoft. From Ubisoft anyway, yeah. Uh, no, uh, well, I'm saying in general. Oh, in general, uh, yeah, uh actually, the, actually, the top two are from Ubisoft. Well, yeah, okay. One, so what's the are. other one then? Uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. We are okay. I, uh, I, 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 my, the rest of the Ubisoft conference is slipping my mind. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it just Legends just looks fantastic. I'm sorry. It does. No, I, I would agree. If you looks like a really solid platformer. Mm -hmm. And Origins was already great enough. Yeah. It so, was. so what was after that? Uh. Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. It's sorry, it's like an what? RTS. <laughs> uh, RTS. Skip. Fuck RTSs. Yeah. I like sorry if you enjoy the like, Sorry if you enjoy the genre, but I hate it. It's like I like the trailer for it when they're not showing gameplay. It's just the actual humor. That's about it. Um, the crew. The crew. Yeah. Okay. The crew looks really good. It's a I racing was, game that has me interested. It's a racing game. Yeah. <laughs> looks like... It's like you're just driving through everything. It just looks awesome. Yeah. It looks a bit, like like, for, it look like it, a bit like Need for Speed, but a bit more cartoony and uh, good. Yeah. And it's like you can actually make your own crew with like members from your friends list and all. They sacri they've sacrificed realism for entertainment. Um, thank you. Thank you. Like, seriously. Uh, yeah, that's one. Uh, that's one I would put on my list. Oh God, Excadrill, no. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Excadrill <laughs> appears as a DLC character in the crew. Shut up. Ah. Uh, so what and about that? My most anticipated game, Watch Dogs. Ah, uh, Watch Dogs. Oh, of course, that's an Ubisoft game, right? Yeah. 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 Um, yes. Okay. Watch Dogs looks absolutely like. I actually think, although I'm going to say I think Sony did a better sh job of showing it off than Ubisoft did because the Sony conference actually showed actual gameplay of the game. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just the it stuff they showed off. Oh, my God. It looks amazing. It really looks like a next-gen title. And that's one I'm definitely picking up. I'm probably going to get it with my PS4. Well, basically, you play as a ha you play as someone who can hack into an entire city. Yeah, you're stuff. a vigilante who's like, his main weapon is a smartphone that can yeah. literally hack everything. Yeah, and it's awesome. It looks really, really cool. It's the great reboot of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh my god! Starring Miles Tails Prower. <laughs> I could almost drop my 3DS when I said that. <laughs> Your 3DS couldn't handle it. Uh, yeah, I know. But, um, yeah, it's like, it looks like it has so many choices of gameplay. It's like Deus Ex. Yeah. And I like that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it, it looks better to me. Fair enough. 
Uh, speaking of dead sex, Ian, how about the fallen? We're not getting to that yet. We'll get to that a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Oh yeah, and the new TV show they showed off. Oh, the <laughs> raving rabbit. The raving rabbits TV show. Go I'll, to hell. I'll I'll just sum it up with this. Did, did anyone? I thought everyone hated the rabbits. That's why we got Raymond Origins in the first place, right? Hey. Uh, okay, just quote Johnny's tweet. Yeah. Well, it's, to be, oh, 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 it just sums it it's up. It's true. Well. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it is true. And it's like, I don't, I don't even know. It's like, what does it do? Like, do, do you have to have a connect for it? Yeah, I'm assuming you do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what, what they're going for. Oh, good. And it's, and it's I guess like it'll be encourages children to scream. I guess it'll be like the Halo TV show. I well, guess. I guess. I didn't see anything for that show. All I heard was that Warren Spector's making it. I thought it was Steven Warren Spielberg. Spe Warren Spector, blah. Steven Spielberg. I have day sex on my mind now. Yeah. Like, I was wondering, like, what the fuck is... What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, it just doesn't look interesting. Yeah. At all. Because it's rabbits. Rabbits um, are awful. Assassin's Creed 4. Don't whatever. Care. Don't care. Assassin's Don't Creed is just a, a pretty bad series in general, honestly. Especially since they've made it fucking yearly. In my humble opinion. I'm not really interested. It's, I'm, I'm not sure interested. people will like it and all, just it's not my type of thing. Yeah. Maybe. And also the teaser trailer for it. Oh, where the black guy starting to fight. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, one he, he, one, one black there. guy in the trailer and he starts a fight. Come on. <laughs> I think that's Ubisoft being a little racist. <laughs> Come on. You have to admit. Yeah. yeah. Although, be, although, also, is another thing is that I think they showed off more gameplay in the Sony conference. Again. <laughs> again. Although, to be uh, fair, it, it glitched up in the Sony conference. Yeah. We'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. Um. Then they showed off two trial games. Trials Fusion and Frontier. Does anyone really care? I don't uh, care. I, I like Trials. Uh. <laughs> It looks okay. It, mainly HD. It doesn't look like a bad game, anyway. It's it's it's, it's just you're so ambivalent. It's not ambivalent. for everyone, but it's, I wouldn't say it's terrible. I, I'm just so ambivalent towards it, so. Oh, we're using big words now, are we? Fuck, Mike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the mic doesn't like big words. <laughs> the mic doesn't like me making fun of other people. It has a sense of irony. Um. <laughs> um then the last one they showed off is actually kind of an interesting one. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It, I, it, never, I never saw any of that. I don't know, I, I, just, just, I, I just hear the name Tom, Tom Clancy and I just go, eh. What? No, no, to give it credit, it looks interesting anyway. I, yeah, I, I, don't, mean, I don't the know. Inter, the interface is a bit eh, but everything else actually looks pretty cool. I don't know, Rainbow Six kind of gave me a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, well that was Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six in general, even the books are terrible. That is true. I heard a lot, a lot of my friends like the second one. Uh, what Vegas? Yeah. I don't. I don't. Don't. I don't. Don't. I'm not saying I do. I'm saying my friends. I don't. I've never even heard the game before they brought it up. I. I. I've, I. Isn't Vegas the only one people actually talk about? Yeah, that yeah. one. Um. I just find it. To, I just find it to be there. Okay, so me. moving on. I guess. Well, Sony. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else to bring up for the Ubisoft conference. Uh, that was pretty much it. We're moving on pretty quickly. Yeah. The Sony conference. Like, we're still going to talk about games that they didn't show up in conference. Yeah. But we do that after we went, went through all the conferences. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, after that, then... Then... The magnum opus of all conferences in this entire thing... Sounded a little sarcastic so there, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sony's conference. Sony's... Uh, they killed it. They killed uh, it. Yeah, yeah let's, just, let's just go through it real quick. Um, okay, well, first off, they showed regular, like, what's coming to PS3 first. Yeah, it like, started pretty slow. Like, that's understandable. Like, get the get some of the bad stuff out of the way first. To be, to be fair, the conference was two hours long as opposed to everyone else's one hour long conference. Yeah, at first it was delayed. I don't want to get Yeah, water. it was delayed for half an hour. Yeah. 
It's like, okay. I remember they, everyone on, on Twitter just making jokes like, oh, I'm going to cure cancer. I'm going to play through the entirety of fucking Skyrim before Sony's conference starts. For God's sake. I heard uh, they, 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 they were delayed in the console because they were, they were too drunk from the after party of the death of Microsoft. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. But um, I think they started up with... Um, they showed off like the Last of Us trailer. Uh. Like, before it got released. I don't really see the point considering Last of Us was only going to be released in like a few more days. I still, yeah. uh, whatever, whatever trailers it's, I can get. might as well still show it all. The Last of Us looks fantastic, I'll say that right now. It looks, it, I'm not interested, but I'll say this, it looks really well made for what it is. Yeah. I really want it. I really, I want, really it. want it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like Uncharted 3, but this, this looks so much better. Yeah, it really does. And I love, I love the main character's voice. Uh, I actually haven't heard it yet. It's so deep. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy deep. It's, it's so it's the kind of voice you 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 It's like, you'd it's like the, the guy from Chronicles. It's like Riddick. So it's That's solid. How deep it is. So it's solid snake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, then they showed off some Vita stuff. Like they showed off Arkham Origins for the Vita. It does. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. Looks. Like yeah, the game itself. It actually, it looks like Arkham City. I I don't think I would mind it. Um, you mean the console version of Arkham Origins? Yeah, the console version. Oh, the looks... console version looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look. Uh, it looks good, but I'm still very cautious considering it's a diff different developer. Yeah, I getcha. Uh, by the but way, like, Roger going... Craig's missed a new Batman, apparently. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, Roger Craig's... Although, to be fair, it doesn't sound anything like Roger Craig Smith. Yeah, cool. and I, it actually sounds like a decent Batman voice. Joker, to be brutally go fair. Shut up. I want to. I'd be, that'd be amazing if they did a song reference. Oh, if they did. And then Silver pops up. Oh. With the Rivals 2 voice. <laughs> Batman, we gotta get the chill! Oh Come on, baby, we gotta go fight the chill! Yeah. Oh the chill is a new evil villain, I guess. <laughs> yes! It's like, it's like overpowered like Bane. Oh my god. Right, anyway, before I start dreaming up. Chow in big buffed up mech suit. God. <laughs> um, Already too late. <laughs> um, what was after that? Come on. Like, they showed off a couple more, like, Vita titles. Like, Doki Doki Universe. <laughs> yeah, like, I think that's... Uh, okay, okay, no, 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 no. To, to be fair, Doki Doki Universe looks interesting. What is yeah. Doki Doki Universe, anyway? It looks different. It, it, it it's kind of like a... A chat thing, but like whatever you're describing, it'll draw up. Ah, it's kind it. of like scribble knots. Yeah, as in it will probably take a few games to like really get the concept, perfect like, the formula. Perf yeah. yeah, but it looks interesting on the list. Uh, I know Killzone Mercenaries, like the new Vita title. Uh, I don't care for Killzone. So, never care. Yeah, whatever, I kills them. I never played it. Those are those interesting. Uh, they show... They talked about, like, I think they just, like, quickly announced Final Fantasy X and X 2 HD. Uh, I wouldn't mind 10, but 10 2 no, I'm fine. Wait, they did actually announce it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm basically uh, just gonna go for 10 on the V and that's about it. I'm, I'm, su I'm surprised they didn't announce the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah. Well... They did saving... announce one Final Fantasy thing in a minute. <laughs> yeah, but, but, same, but Jeff, but they're saying I, I, I'm assuming they're just saving the Final Fantasy VII remake from when they really have no fucking idea what they're gonna do next. Then what they should do? Remake Final Fantasy IX. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I would love that. Well, I'd love that more. But the thing is, Final Fantasy VII aged a lot worse than IX, so I think a nine re a seven remake would be a lot more appropriate. Fair yeah, enough. I guess. Um, I know they showed off, like, 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 cut out, Ian, cut out, hello, cut out, <laughs> uh, God, <Flat. laughs> and we'll be back after these messages. Watch Zelda become a legend on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! Which way to go? Good 
Legend of Zelda. A never-ending adventure new for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! Go back to whatever we were talking about. Okay, uh, so after that they showed off um, PS3 titles that were going to be ported to Vita, like Dead Nation and Flower, and I think there were a few more, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, then they moved on to the PS4. Uh, I think the first thing they showed off was Killzone. Uh, no, 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 they no, showed they, off, like, they, no, the console itself. Oh yeah, they showed Yeah, the console itself. What? It, lo it looks good. It looks like a fucking- It just looks like a bigger PS2, honestly. Uh, Only slanted. A parallelogram PS2. A parallelogram. Uh, as long as it's not a big fucking VCR box yeah. like the, the Xbox One, I'm okay with it. I really. like the I, I do like the design. I- Yeah, I like it. The controller is a bit eh? Uh, um, I'm fine it with it. Yeah, it there's, a, it's a, a, there's a it's stupid cool. fucking touchpad, but other than that, it looks like a as PS. Long as, the, as long as they do what they're doing with the Vita and just not really do much with the touchpad, I'm fine with it. Yeah, yeah. please. Um, I think the first game they showed off was The Order. Uh, no, no opinion on it. Can't uh, remember. Didn't they, show off a, didn't they show off a bunch of indie games? Yeah, at one point, yes. I think that was yeah. after they showed off... Uh, yeah, they, after show they showed off like the main games. Oh, the order. Wait, wasn't that like a medieval game? No, yeah, Victorian. That was a medieval game. Victorian age game, rather. Yeah. Uh, it's like they, had, they came out of the carriage, and it was like they were fighting off like the werewolf-like creatures. Uh, yeah, it looked all right. Yeah. Uh, for the oh no, no, wait, 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 wait. Did, didn't they first show off that medieval game that was like the wizard and the? No, no, no that was that was in a bit. Yeah. You sure? And the... Yeah. Darn, my memory's um, fucking foggy. Okay, whatever. Then they showed off Infamous Second Son. It really Which, it looks really good. Yeah, the gameplay uh -huh. looks really fun. I really, I have both Infamous One and Two. I actually got both of them for free on PSN, and I really need, wanted to play them after I saw that. Yeah. Uh, Sec is there no Second Son just looks fantastic, and you have fire powers. Yeah. Instant body. <laughs> actually, the main character looks pretty likable as well. Yeah. Actually, isn't isn't is there like a collection coming out? Is it already out? The oh, collection? Wait, what? The yeah, infamous yeah, the, collection. The, the, yeah, the collection's out. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess Don't I know why there's a collection, but... Whatever. Yeah. Hey, I ain't it's... questioning it. I ain't questioning it. Yeah, because you haven't bought any of the games. <laughs> I, I just got bought... I got both of the games for free, so... <laughs> yeah. Um... Then they showed... I think Gran Turismo 6. Don't care for it? Don't yeah, care. who cares? Whatever. Hashtag cars. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, then, then Killzone, I think. Yeah, then Killzone. Again, don't 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 care for Killzone. It's Killzone. Yeah, it's Killzone. It's Shadowfall. Shadowfall. Uh. Um. Then they showed Beyond Two Souls. What one was that? Uh. Like um, the Heavy Rain type game. Uh. Oh. Um. It looks it looks better than Heavy Rain, but. So what's that saying, really? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Although it looks at least they'll have more gameplay. Then I think was Rain. Yeah, Rain. Rain looked pretentious as all shit. L like yeah. I was it's like, a fucking I pretentious ass indie game. Whatever. It's like uh, like I said on Twitter. What was I supposed to get from this trailer other than it's pretentious? Was it this where all the indie games started? I'm sure it was. Uh, after um, after that, after uh, Rain, I believe. Uh, they, wait, wait, real quick. They showed um, the Dark Sorcerer, which Cr is like a tech demo. Just show Wait, well, that was the, the that was the medieval thing, right? Yeah, it's a that tech was... demo to show what the PS4 can do. Oh, that was I'm... hilarious, though. I'm sorry, it, w it was actually yeah. really funny. And, and 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 graphically, it looked fucking amazing. Yeah, like I was seriously questioning whether or not there was some some sort of new movie coming out or some shit. Yeah, and it's like the humor was actually quite well made. Yeah, and they showed the rest of it. Like, did you see the rest of it? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Oh, okay, like, no, the no. They, half, they showed like, rain. The guy quits. They, sh they they showed rain, and then they showed Arkham Origins for the PS4. Oh, okay. Whatever, well, though. We already talked about it. Yeah, and uh, it's like the second half. It's like the the sorcerer quits. <laughs> so they use footage of like the cuts they had to and make. And then after that, they showed the PS4. Uh, whatever. We got the order a bit mixed up, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're still talking. About I'm it. literally looking at my Twitter feed to. <laughs> To sort out what was it, and then um, they showed the fucking game we were talking about before that was in Victorian age. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, then the then, indie but, titles wait, hit. Okay. Yeah, then the no, indie no, 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 not yet, not yet. No, it was the yeah. indie titles hit. Yeah, next. Oh really? Oh okay. yeah. Uh, um, the first but, one uh, they showed off was Transistor, a sort of spiritual sequel to Bastion. Yeah, Bastion it, Two, basically. It's it's the same thing with Bastion. I like it the does, art style. Yeah, I like the, the music. The gameplay just looks basic as all shit, though. They better have the fucking narrator in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, they showed Don't Starve. Eh. Whatever. It, 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 it has a Minecraft feeling, which it, it, it just drives me off. I'm sorry. I've seen it. I've seen gameplay of it. It's kind of Minecrafty. I don't. I don't. Minecrafty. Really I love that. Minecraft- Minecraft- love that's an ad- I love that that's an adjective now. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I really didn't pay much attention to any of the indie games except for the um, oh the yeah Odyssey remake of Oddworld. Yeah, World. the new, the next one, the fucking Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, new and tasty. Oh my god, <laughs> it looks then, so good. Wait, where do you can go? I don't know. I You'd be foaming died. at the mouth over this shit. Where do you go? <laughs> oh, he died again. Uh, uh, okay. Cut. Uh, what we were talking about uh, when you cut out Ian was the new and tasty remake. Oh my <laughs> god, it looks fantastic. It looks it looks amazing. It's uh, like they it really looks like they put their heart into it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it does. I see the I actually seen the uh, the unfinished intro. Uh huh. It looks good, but it definitely looks like it needs work. For one. Yeah. It doesn't look quite as dark as the original. Does that oh. make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and but I know I know for a fact this is unfinished because the inside of the boardroom is one hundred percent like almost completely unfinished. So I know that it's not the final product, or anything near the final product. Okay. Yeah, hopefully so. Um. But actually, I'm talking about that, I I don't want to mention every single indie title there because honestly, eh. Yeah, yeah I I, get, um, but I want to talk about the PS4 indie support instead. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I was gonna bring up. Fucking high five over there. Let, let uh, me just let me just say this real quick. The indie games do look pretty good. Yeah, some of them. At least, other, uh, yeah, but at least most of them. But like the, the the PS4 just has like free indie support. They can fucking like what was it like offer anything they want on the P- PSN store. Uh huh. All, all Sony's yeah. consent. Whereas Sorry. Microsoft basically has a firm grip on any any developer that wants to develop for the Xbox One. Yeah. yeah. So basically, imagine the PS4 being a nice, cozy little house where the indie games would just sit along, sip some hot, hot nice cocoa, just do what the <laughs> fuck they want. And with the Xbox I love, One, I love it's, this, but... it's jail with chains, <laughs> breaking balls. Spikes everywhere. You I can't do anything. I love this metaphor. And Hal is watching you. <laughs> and Hal is, is watching, watching you. everyone. Oh my god. But yeah, the indie support is awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I do agree. After that, they showed off Diablo 3, I believe. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> Diablo. I'll uh, see. It's a console port. It has a local uh, multiplayer like Diablo 1. Uh, actually, and I liked that version. So it actually, may be decent. Ashley Dean, did you say there was going to be local single player too? Yes. Hmm. Okay, just making sure. Hmm, my interest is piqued. <laughs> just, you know. The, yeah, like the virtual Diablo, you had to have online. Yeah. Uh, um, like the Xbox. Yeah, like the and Xbox I, and One. And what, what was after the Diablo 3? Hey, hey, well, your game, KM. Yeah, oh, yeah. The one oh, you yeah. joked about. The. Okay. Yeah, the, Can I just. Can I just, like, fucking describe my personal experience with what happens? Yeah, when you go. Okay, so after that, the Square Enix logo popped up. I saw Nomura. The, the, the instant I saw him, I thought, okay, either he's gonna give the news everyone wants, which is very fucking unlikely. I even made a fucking joke post about that on Twitter. And I'm just gonna, like, curse out his name like I do every single day. Fuck you, Nomura. Or he's actually gonna sh- show it off. Then he saw. Then the trailer hit. <laughs> Final Fantasy Versus 13 is no longer vaporware. In fact, it is now named Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> My fucking jaw dropped. 
actually never talked about Kingdom Hearts 3 for a second there. Oh, oh well, we're getting oh, to that. Oh, we're getting to that. But I want to talk about 15. The game. Okay. Oh my fucking god, it looks <laughs> so good. It really does. It looks so much better than 13. Uh, Any 13 game. It does look pretty good. I mean, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy fan, but it looks impressive. Uh, it's just... Yeah. And now that it's fucking a main game, it's actually getting, like, a lot of focus, which... Thank you! <laughs> For years, I was just assuming that this awesome-looking game was just gonna be vaporware, and now you just dropped a fucking bombshell on us. Thank you! Nomura, you finally did something right. It took you, like, what, six years? But, you know, I'll give credit where credit is fucking due. And then, and then, and then after then, that... Oh, my God. Uh, then the real unexpected happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. When, when that trailer was played, like, you know, I was yeah, telling we you, like, were, oh, okay, like, we were going. joking, and then Owen was like, like, we were joking, but it's like, oh, it's going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, like, I was like, like, I was said, it's probably going to be Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Yeah. And then, just and then, like, no way, no way. Yeah, yeah, and the whole thing, I was like, no, no, it's not. No, no, then, no. And even when the logo popped up, I was like, no, they're still lying to me. And, and then, like, like, like okay, no, yeah, like, okay, basically what happened, they showed a little montage of Sora just rising through water or something. Uh -huh. And they were showing off all the titles, and I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah, now they were showing off all the titles from, from 1 till, um, whatever the fucking... Team Job Distance. Team Job Distance, yeah. And I was just like, oh, okay, here we go, another fucking spin-off. Then <laughs> Sora just fucking popped up all HD and is like, okay. And then the 3 pops up. <laughs> I, I was all, I was so close, so fucking close to squealing like a little bitch. <laughs> I am not even joking. I like I can blame you. I'm so happy it's getting made. Kingdom Hearts 3 is an actual thing now. Oh. It's in development. They barely showed anything, but I'm so glad that they at least announced it. I, I, I am so fucking glad. And you know, with the, the thing is, weren't they gonna... They, they, like, Nomura said that he wasn't gonna have Kingdom Hearts 3 in development until he was done with Versus. Wait, so that basically means that 15's reaching its end. Which, <laughs> well, it did look like it did look like a final build to me. Yeah, it, yeah, looked it looks pretty finished. I like at, at, at that point it was just Sony won. You know, <laughs> they, they they announced Xbox One ports, but I didn't care. Sony actually showed off those titles. It was it was Sony's conference. I was watching at four in the morning when I was damn near squealing when I saw those. Games, Sony won. Sony fucking won. Oh yeah. uh, well, they really won coming up to the next bit because I remember this. Th well, they showed off this really shit game after that. I can't even remember. Yeah, like after that, I was just like, eh. You know what? You're showing off a sense reading watch. Like that's fine and all, but you know what? My my fu the fucking high point has already been reached. I'm I I'm gonna butt out here. So I don't remember just Sony's conference after that because I was just kind of wanting to go to sleep. Cause it was like. I was almost 5 a.m. Oh, yeah. They, they showed Watch Dogs after and everything as well, and that was all good. I, okay, yeah. Boy, okay, they voice. Showed more, they showed gameplay from Sony. Yeah, like, they showed was... gameplay from Watch Dogs. I'm like, oh, my God, this looks so good. Yeah, and then they did the biggest blow possible. To oh, Microsoft. my God. They stay, They started out like, like he just came onto the stage with this big fucking smile on his face, and he's like, no fee for online games. And like, I, 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 I'm having a brain fart, but it's like, all the shit that Microsoft did wrong, like, we're not doing this, we're not we're doing, not doing this, and we're then, not doing that, and then the applause came, and the guy was still smiling and going through the whole fucking list. And he was, and it was laughing. Yeah, he's fucking laughing. I actually want to- Because he knows. Yeah, but like, th this is actually something I am very happy about, because- a big concern for everyone for the next generation was exactly the shit Microsoft's pulling yeah. off. But thankfully, yeah. pe people like Sony and Nintendo are saying that that is not the way to go. So, there's a lot of concern that just sort of dropped with me for that, which is just great, yeah. honestly. And then, after that happened, they started showing Destiny gameplay. Oh my god! It looks fantastic! It looks so beautiful! Like, the game just looks so good! 
and I wasn't expecting much, but after watching it, I'm really excited now. Hype. Hype, yeah, hype. The hype is shit. The hype is shit. And the co-op looks really fun. Oh my god, I can't wait to play it. I, I want to get it now, but, you know, obviously that's an And then after that, with a swipe of his hand, the price. Oh yeah, the price. US the price. Yeah, 399 US dollars, 350 pounds. I literally started clapping. I'm like, nope, fuck it. They've, oh my god, they've just done so much right. Sony took like the best, the, the best marketing steps they could have took. They've done. They 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 grabbed the opportunity. They took it. They they did everything they were supposed to do. I mean, knowing negative so far about the PS4 is all you have to pay for online. But the thing is, it's only five dollars. Yeah, it's well, less. It, Wait, what? Or you can well, just, isn't it like five dollars a month or something? Yeah, or you can just yeah. put on a payment of fifty for a year, which is and you get what so I'm many doing. things more than gold. Yeah, you get extra games and all that shit. Oh, but oh, speaking of speaking of that, um, Microsoft is now doing uh the basically two free games per month if you have gold. Hey, 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 Microsoft, you're kind of late. Cause Sony already did that two years ago. And they and, late. And, 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 and unlike you, who only give a two, they're giving out ten games for a fucking month. Oh yeah, yeah. back to Microsoft again for a short, for a short little fucking shut up microphone for a short little bit. The business tactics they put, they're getting really desperate. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. they, they actually showed up and, like, uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. I think... Intermission. What he's and... getting at... I think what he's getting at, though, is, um, Microsoft showed up at the Wii U demos at Best Buy's. Oh, yeah. my God, I saw the article for that. I was so fucking pissed. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, okay, sorry about that, but before we get to Nintendo's press, press conference, then, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we were just talking about that, the, actually. Yeah, the, the fucking, they were showing up at the, at the Best Buy for the Wii U and saying, oh, why should you buy a Wii U when the next Xbox One's right here? It's, all, it's really awful business tactics. Can't, it really is. I think that, I think that, I think that it, they should be able to, Nintendo should be able to sue Microsoft for that, honestly. You should be able to. And anybody who defends these bl these fiz business business I'm getting angry these business tactics by Microsoft that's blind fanboyism you can't def fucking microphone you cannot defend this shit at all you really can't oh and the same thing with the Xbox features you can say oh well I always have online I I I I, I don't land on my case. What about but the there's... other people? Yeah, but yeah. Like, but the fa but the problem is these limitations shouldn't be there in the fucking first place. Exactly. Not, there's not, no yeah, reason for not them. Everyone has what you have. So what you have could be, you know, not a problem to you. But what about the people who don't have it? It could be a problem to them. It's still a general problem that shouldn't fucking exist in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. Just terrible. I mean, again, Sony has bought has bought me. I'm yeah. buying a PS4. I was honestly just kind of expecting this generation to be a Wii U PS4 generation for me. Yeah, that's what it is for me. Or maybe PC for some hey. people. Eh, not me. I'm some, not PC. Yeah. I don't. I, don't I mean, PC I mean, game. okay. I'm gonna be fair to some people. I can see why they'd be turned off for this next gen, but I uh, I can at least say they could try Sony or maybe Nintendo. Just not fully PC, but maybe that's yeah. just me. I I do might I do some gaming. I I do some PC gaming. Like, I guess if you count emulators and uh, Steam, I guess, but it's only for a couple games because honestly, well, there are really there are. I'll get Steam this. There's some really good deals you can get on it, and it's, it's just, a real it's really a real con it's a real convenience, but it it works horribly. Like mine keeps fucking crashing. Yeah, well, it, the thing is, like, it's nice to have all these deals and all this shit. Most of these games don't really offer me Yeah, and there's a lot of shit. Yeah, there's a lot of shit on Steam. There's a lot of shit on Steam. Yeah. And Team the, 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 yeah, Team Fortress 2. Yeah. And, like, the... The buys are... The, 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 the sales you can get are very misleading because everyone buys all these fucking games and they never play them. Look at their Steam Online profile. They've never played any of these games. They have them in their library, which means they've purchased them, they've gave Steam money, but they don't play them. 
the only games they really, the, the only games that you'll find that they play are either Left 4 Dead 2 or Team Fortress 2. Yeah. What the the latter being a fucking free to play game? Yeah. I used to play Deus Ex, then I got a physical copy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I just I just use it for dust. But enough and of all. Of Isaac. Uh, yeah, and Binding of Isaac, which is yeah, go play that. Um, <laughs> and Cave uh, Story. And Cave anyway, Story plus. moving on to E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that before we start talking about that. Um, now, Nintendo's conference. Now, now uh, one thing I have to mention. I sadly I missed Nintendo's conference. I had to be somewhere, but I, I guess you guys can take over. But uh, uh, I mean, I, I heard some things. Uh, I think only me and Ian watched it. Yeah. yeah. I, I was Although asleep. my stream was really laggy. Uh, yeah. It was just for everyone. I was in the call with uh, ZM, ZM and Firebird. None of us could get the fucking streams to work. We we managed to find one that works oh, all right, but it's like Nintendo. I know I know Google Plus it Google fuck what was it like Google Live or something for YouTube Google Hangouts Google Hangouts isn't the best stream but it's it's working better than any of your streams so try getting into that with your main channel Well they opened up with X and Y information Well that's yeah. always good I have a lot of new things I've heard about X and Y so it's the horde battles the sky battles the new Pokemon announced it all looks really good I'm really Oh, the new fairy type, of course. Uh, what, I like the concept. I, I don't the mind. Name. I remember, I actually, I went into game to get my co another copy of White Two since I lost my first one, and then the clerk's like, oh yeah, did you hear about X and Y and the new fairy type and all that? I'm like, wow, this is, <laughs> this is, like, white world spread information. I like the, I like the concept, hates the fucking name. Fair, yeah. I think light type would be And they're fair. better than dragon types. No, they're not. They're not better. They I know, are. I'm saying they're effective. I yes. Oh my god. You would not believe the amount of fucking art I've seen where, where basically it's like either Sylveon or some other fairy fairy type scaring the shit out of these big dragon types. And it's like, guys, the joke's barely there and you've already run it into the ground. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the next game they announced after that. They should also some 3DS games. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't really, didn't really care for any of them, really. Um, Again, never saw any. The new Link to the Past doesn't look that bad. Um, well, those were what? shown after the Nintendo, which uh, we should get uh, get it into those after we talk about Nintendo Direct, because I kind of want to rant about it, about it. But I think we should actually address Nintendo Direct first. Oh, good. We're only okay. running it. We're only running an hour and seven minutes. Keep going. Take your time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, um, uh, should we tell about the one that everyone was, was waiting for? Um, the new 3D Mario game? No! We, oh, if you're talking Smash. about that, we're getting into that last, Jeff. We're, yeah, that saved the big bombshell for last. Okay. Uh, the first one they showed off, to my recollection, was the new 3D Mario game. It's a, Why? It's a sequel to 3D Land. Why? Whoa. It works on the handheld. It doesn't work on a fucking console. It's co-op. Whoa! I don't care. I don't. I don't know. But I, but as an eighteen-year-old guy, I don't know anyone who's willing to play fucking Mario co-op with me. I don't know about you guys. Oh, I probably would. <laughs> I might if they were four. I'm gonna be honest. Wait, I'm, what? Uh, I I zoned out. What are we talking about? The the new Mario. The game. new Mario. Oh, it looks awful. Looks like yeah. it's like even if I, I'm playing it a Wii U, but that game is nowhere near a fucking priority for me. Maybe if I finish your Mario Kart 8. Don't care. Whatever, another Mario Kart. You're kind of getting stale by now. Yeah. 7 <laughs> was decent, and gameplay-wise, yeah, it was pretty good. Tracks-wise, uh, you really could have used some work on your tracks, guys. I, I really only care for Double Dash and DS nowadays. DS yeah. was the best Mario Kart, in my opinion. Uh, second I can see, best. I can see that. Second best, I still, I still hold Double Dash, it's my favorite. Same. Whatever, never played it. Uh, um, so, I think the new yeah, I just I just think it looks decent. Uh, the new Donkey Kong was after that, I think. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. actually looks good to me. Uh, I know a lot. I don't care for it, but I know a lot of people who are pissed off that that is new retro's new game. Everybody's waiting for a new Star Fox. Yeah, I know. That's why I was really disappointed. I just want a new Star Fox. I don't care either way, really. I don't care. I want to mind a new Star Fox. But, uh, Whatever the last, some, the last good, yeah, actually, the last. Actually, that's one something I want. Something new. The last good Star Fox game was 64, anyway. So who cares? I like Assault. 
Yeah, but Ian, I, I, I know you want to, like them to bring back like either an old franchise to do something completely new, but they kind of have to play safe for at least this year. Because the yeah. Wii U is not selling that the well. The Wii U so. is not selling. I mean, Microsoft oh, doing their best be to selling, help. Though. Really... Yeah, Microsoft's doing their best to help on that note. Yeah, I know. But, <laughs> oh yeah, the fucking stuff. Oh yeah, okay, one more book. thing I have to mention. As of right now, I hear that the pre-order ratios for the PS4 to the Xbox One are 17 to 1. <laughs> That's... Wait, really? 17 to 1, yes. Oh, That's my God. That's a that complete amazing. slaughter. A complete slaughter. That's really sad. It is. Then they showed off Wind Waker HD. Uh, I'm excited. It looks yeah. beautiful. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Uh, I was originally joking that I was gonna get the Wii U just for, for it, but nah. Oh, I mean, when on. I'm getting, I mean when, when I'm I getting get a Wii U, I'm getting it. I, when I'm getting a Wii U, it's one of the first games I'm gonna get definitely, Same. but it's not a system seller. Not for really. Me. I'm not really sure about getting a Wii U. Like, um, uh, I, I mean, I want to get it. It's just it's, the, like it's like the more the better game. I originally, I want, will I come out next year. I originally so. wanted it for Smash, but the thing is, there's a 3DS version. And apparently it's crossplay. So no, much. They no, it's no. not. It's not. Wait, they confirmed it's not. No. Yeah. But but. Uh, ah, son of a bitch. But one of the things that also made me decide that I really still want a Wii U is that they they're gonna have different versions. The, the, like the, the 3DS and Wii U version of Smash are gonna differ, but that's for later. Okay. Yeah. But um. We but when like Wii U looks beautiful, I'm whenever I get a Wii U. Definitely a buy. Uh, rethinking that. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a Wii U, but when the price drops, at least. Um, that's probably when I'm gonna get one. I, I especially now, it's not worth full price. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, I showed up X, which is um, like Xeno's a Xeno game, isn't it? It, 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 it? I think it's it's the spiritual sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles. I have no opinion well, on it. It's staring. It's on my shelf, staring me down, but I haven't fucking touched it. Well, I'm looking at X, and it looks miles better than Xenoblade Chronicles. Because you, uh, I guess the Xenoblade runs for. I don't like that game. In your, in your. No, I don't like that game. Huh. I, I don't really care. care. <laughs> I've yeah, never, I don't care for it. Uh, never really he even heard of the Xenoblade Chronicles, really. So whatever. Yeah. It's just. Blah. I, have, I haven't. But X does, I will give X this. It does look good. It lo it looks good. It, it's. Pr uh, it's probably something I'll pick up just because, you know, just have an RPG on the fucking Wii U. Uh, didn't they show up Bayonetta 2? Yeah, I they think... did. Uh, they, 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 I, I, they... I haven't seen gameplay of it, but I'm gonna get it. Um, uh, I've seen gameplay of it. I've seen gameplay of it. It's a, I think it's a buy when I get a Wii U. Yeah, I, mean, I, re no. I, I really like the first one. I don't want to get a second one. I haven't played the first one, but from what I can tell, it's exactly the fucking same. Yeah. No, uh, no. Apparently, some gameplay mechanics are actually quite different. Like they try to spice some things up. Oh, uh, really? Because from what I got gathered, it's kind of the same thing. But that's just yeah, me, I, I guess. Get, well, I'll just wait till more information comes out. Yeah. yeah. But so far, yeah, I'll get it when I get a Wii U. Yeah. Um. Did they did they show off the wonderful one on one? A bit, yeah. It just looks like a crazier version of Pac Man, really. Pikmin. I mean, Pikmin. Pac-Man. Pac 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 fucking... Oh, yeah. God, they're doing Pac-Man game. But, um... No, Pikmin. No. Oh, no, no, we'll get to that in a bit. I want to talk about that one. Yeah. Um... God. Yeah, I think it looks, be I think it looks better than Pikmin 3. Yeah, I don't care for Pikmin, so... Well, whatever. It's whatever, yeah, exactly. I don't want to get Pikmin yeah. 3. Don't, then. <sighs> um... Then they showed off... The bomb, the big bomb. Smash Bros. Smash. Smash. Me okay. Mega Man confirmed for Smash. Sorry, oh, just it, no, that. No, oh. That was the selling point. Yeah, definitely. I almost fucking screamed. What? No, 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 no. Okay, I woke up. I get on Skype. Ian tells me this. Is like, wait, Ian, you're telling you're serious, right? He sends me a link to the trailer. I, I get back from a hot. I get back like at ten o'clock at night, and like everyone's like, "Oh yeah, Mega Man and Smash." I'm like, "What?" And the CG. I was right there. The CGI trailer they showed. Holy shit! It looks yeah. really good. And the remixes they played. <clears throat> oh my dick! Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> just w I heard I hear Wily One when Metal Blades come out. I was like, oh my god. Oh yeah. By the way, Mega Man confirmed for S tier with Meta Knight because me Metal Blades. Oh, oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Although, Meg, I'll, I'll give you that. He still looks so much fun to play. I, looked, I, I, look, I looked at the gameplay. Game gameplay? Game I'm not Japanese, come on. <laughs> I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. Oh, my really God, shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, I, I did see the gameplay with Mega Man. He does look kind of broken. I'm gonna hit he looks, he yeah. looks broken, but I don't care. He looks like a fucking b bunch of fun to play, ass. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Would you rather him have a playing as he was in Marvel vs. Marvel vs. Capcom? No, go kill yourself. Go kill yourself. <laughs> also, he, he's like... I, I, lo I love the model. It's an exact one-to-one -one recreation from the fucking NES game, and it yeah. looks so and fucking And it's an good. HD. We finally have an HD Mega Man model. Yeah. yeah. It looks so good, and it behaves just like the NES one, which is... I, I really like that, actually. Yeah. yeah. So they showed up two newcomers, who I think are joke characters. They are joke. The villager and the Wii Fit oh, Trainer. Oh, the Wii Fit Trainer. Oh. I want to talk about the villager first. At first, I was like, no, but the more I think about it, the more I just love it. The more it's just, like, really funny. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. the constant smile on his face. The, the fucking memes. I the <laughs> memes. Oh Especially the one where he's like holding a plant pot over Link's face and it's like, revenge. 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 And then it's like you see him watering a plant while battles are going on. It's like, does not kill a fuck. <laughs> and all, all the memes where you just where you just see him with a fuck, smiling with a fucking axe going, hello, friends. But but by, by the way, I he will is be the that. ultimate serial killer. Yeah. By the way, when it comes to Smash, I will be that one guy who just keeps using Bowser. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they actually yeah they, they actually, actually showed up Bowser. He actually looks pretty good. Oh, does he look better than he did in Brawl? Yeah, a yeah. lot better. Oh, good. Well, I mean, I can't complain because again, he uh, in Brawl it, Bowser was one of my mains. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, uh, they chased him up a bit, but it looks for the like it's gonna be for the better. Okay. Uh, you'll also, have to show me that. You have to show me some Smash stuff after this, actually, because I haven't okay. seen a lot. And the last also character. The Wii Fit Trainer. Oh my god, fuck you, internet, for that fan art. Fuck you. Oh, oh my god. The fucking. I, 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 don't don't understand on... the, I don't understand the fan art. At I, all. I, I go on Facebook the, the day after the Smash tra trailer, and all these pages were, were posting fucking Wii Fit Trainer fan art, and I'm like, why? She is so white. <laughs> <laughs> I love maybe, memes maybe, for it. Maybe yeah. people like Albino women. Uh, I'll okay, help burn, I, I'll help you burn carbs in hell. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on. What's next? Uh, I'm just saying, this Smash Brothers looks fantastic. It does look fantastic. No, all that you, you've I'm got. I'm, getting... I like, I'm just saying this. I like how the versions have different styles of graphics. Uh, and but, they'll but, have different sets of stages where the 3DS version will be catered more to handhelds. Uh, bef be wait before we move on. Personal question, guys: Are we getting the 3DS versions? I I'm am. getting both. I am. Because I, I want to play you guys on 3DS. I'm, I'm getting both yeah. versions. Awesome, so awesome. Mm -hmm. um, then we... Nintendo did something really stupid, because the Direct literally just lasted for 30 minutes. <laughs> but they showed off a bunch of other games, and it's like, why not show them in your Direct? Because right now you just look so fucking underwhelming, especially after the bomb Sony dropped on us. Yeah. Yeah. It's... It, I thought it was a dumb decision, honestly. And a lot of people mm -hmm. keep saying, oh, Sony, no, no, Sony, oh, Nintendo won. No, uh, Sony, won, Sony won Nintendo, Nintendo N second. Nintendo yeah, second. Nintendo, uh, Nintendo let's be honest, okay, what did Nintendo really do special? Yeah. Smash. That's about it, really. Okay, yeah, Smash, but we were expecting Smash. I mean, come on. Okay, Mega Man and Smash, yeah, but is that... Like, ugh, you can't want a whole conference on that, come on. Uh, like, compared to the Sony's bomb, it's nothing special. No, Don't get me wrong, I, I love Nintendo, I love what they're doing. Like, fucking Mike, will you shut the fuck up while I'm trying to talk? Uh, I love what they're do- Okay. I love what they're doing <laughs> with the games, but... Sony won the conference. Sony won the conference, but- and I'm not being a fanboy. Like, I when I say that, it's almost a unanimous thing. Yeah. The the thing with Nintendo, why I call it second, is that the, that one review for Mega Man did way more than Ubisoft, EA's, or or uh, Microsoft conference did for me. Yeah. So that's why I call them second. Yeah. Ubisoft I mean, was the decent of the bunch. I tried yeah. to like Microsoft. That's why I got a 360 in the first place. I no. I don't like I, the 360. I, 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 like in E3, I tried to give them a chance. Like, okay, maybe they'll yeah. actually sort some decent games. It's like, 
Most of them really didn't impress me at all. And then Most of them didn't look next gen at and all. And then there's like a, a two hundred dollar price difference between the PS4 and the Xbox One. It's like, what justifies that? Nothing. Hell, from from what I've seen, the hardware, well, well, not too, too different. The PS4 it's, looks actually better. No, yeah. like what what I was about to say. The hardware specs, well, not it's, too different. The Xbox One still is inferior to yes, the PS4. Yes, yes, this, okay, the PS4 has a very slight advantage. It's hardly noticeable. It's pretty much neg neglectable, but, 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 but it, they still have an advantage in hardware for $200 less. You, you, and for no limitations on the console. You can't fucking ignore that. You can't write that off. It's a fucking fact that, that, that what Microsoft is doing is just... Screwing themselves over, basically. Yeah. Everyone can see that. It's so stupid. Mm -hmm. But, uh... People still, and people still deny it. I think Microsoft is still good. Uh, I know, yeah. I know. Whatever. Oh. Uh, so, what's next? Uh, are we done? Um, uh, well, I want to talk about some games they didn't show off. Like what? Okay, first of all, um... Uh, you know that detective game with the ghost? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 you're right. That looks really interesting. I, I want. I want that actually game. seen that one. Uh, what um, was it called? Ian? Uh, it's like, I'm trying to remember the actual name, hold on, I'm gonna bring it up. Uh, okay. But it's like, just you it, like, talk about it until dun, I think dun, it. Dun, dun, like, dun, is it. Is dun, it the game like this gen 2, actually? Uh, I think it's coming out on the PS3 as well, I'm not really sure. Yeah, but no, it's, yeah, like, it's this I, gen. I, I, um, it is. It looks I, fantastic, it looks next yeah, gen. Yeah, it actually looks like next gen, actually. Again, it's like, it's, we've got to the point where they're squeezing every single bit of power out of this gen's hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Pretty much. But for for our audience and for the sake of KM who wasn't there, it's basically it's like imagine LA Noir, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except okay, you start you start the game, you have been murdered. And you, you, uh, you so I assume you're a ghost who has you're to a ghost. solve mysteries. Yes, you ha you have to solve the mystery of your own murder. Because you don't know yes. who killed you. You have to find your... Nobody can see you, but you nobody end up can... finding out the crime yourself. Yeah, nobody can see you. Nothing in the real, like, objects are not tangible to you. Like, you can't pick up anything, but you can possess people. Like, you won't, like, be, be able to take control of them, but you'll see the world through their eyes. And you'll, you have to find out information like that. It's also used as a stealth mechanic. Yeah, to hide stealth. From demons. Yeah, you can you hide from demons by hiding in, in bodies of people because they can't get you that way. Yeah. It's actually really interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it's called Murdered Soul Suspect. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to talk about some of the 3DS games Nintendo showed off after their direct for some fucking dumb reason. Okay. Um, the, f what, the one that I only care about is uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. It, it looks fantastic, but I'm the only one who cares, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My dad <laughs> will probably get it, though. Ah, cool. Because he likes himself some Shin Megami. Weird, Good. weird ass family. Um, so, <laughs> I'm joking, uh, I'm joking. After that is Yoshi's New Island. Uh, what like <sighs> the fucking Yoshi's Epic Yarn? Uh, no, yeah. that's no, that's the Wii U one. Uh, the Yoshi's uh, New Island is the 3DS. The oh yeah, that one. How does it look? I haven't seen it. Uh, the art style's a bit weird, honestly, but it's, it looks all right. It looks. I ho I'm hoping it's better than Yoshi's Island DS for fuck's sake. It's, oh god, that game is awful. Yeah, um, I'm still probably gonna check it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Link, Zelda: Link Between Two Worlds. Yeah. I'm, I'm buying it. Looks it. All right. I'm buying it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I like. I'll, I'd buy I, it. I I like Link to the Past a lot. So. Yeah, and I haven't mm -hmm. really checked it out. Which I should, because 3DS is a console I'm very interested in. Like it started off slow, but there there's it's getting to it's shaping up to become a really solid handheld. Yeah. yeah it is. Yeah. Um. um Oh wait, real quick, real quick. I just wanted to mention this on Sony's side. Okay. Uh they re they released a free version of basically Tekken Tech 2 called Tekken Revolution. Oh yeah. Uh oh, Amer yeah. America it's only um, it's American only. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually quite good. And it's surprising yeah. considering it's a free title. Yeah. But, but still it should be released in Europe. It should I don't understand yeah, why they're not it releasing should. it in Europe. Okay. But anyway, I don't really care because I've got Tekken Tag too, but you know. Yeah, which uh, is the better game, but. Yeah, but I'll only go KM. Okay, only go. Uh, actually, the only other Nintendo title I checked out for myself was uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so it good, but 3DS Mario RPG after Sacred Star. 
I There's no, still okay, I'm doing doubt, okay? No, 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 no. They're separate series, and honestly, this looks like it adds a lot more effort put into it than Sicker Star did. Yeah. I know, but it's, it's, it's just. Yeah, a... I, get, I get what you're coming from, Cam. Yeah. Sicker Star was all It's nice to be a bit cautious. Yeah. Um, I think there was everything on Nintendo side. I don't recall any checking out any other games. Uh, oh wait, real quick, forgot from Sony. Uh, the Mad Max trailer. Oh yeah, Mad Max. You know. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I know nobody's really interested, but I just don't wanted to mention that. And it actually looks. It actually it, looks not that bad. And different, you know, but it does look interesting. You know, okay. I actually okay. thought it was gonna be Rage Two for a second there. And then I thought Mad it was gonna Max. be a Carmageddon. Thank God it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, one, one game we haven't mentioned, Puppeteer. Uh, oh, it yeah. looks like a pretty solid platformer. It looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks like it looks like Little Big Planet if it was more of a platformer. What about what about that one platformer for the PS4? Actually, I, love, I like Little Big Planet. Which one? Uh, the one with like, little robots or something. Tiny brains? No, not tiny brains. Well, okay, that one actually looks interesting too. Uh, fuck, I forget. I forget. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to remember. Uh, also, I like Little Big Planet too. I I love Little Big Planet too. It's in it. It's an really awesome game. <laughs> yeah. Any other E3 things we've missed? Uh. uh, uh oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I know none of you care at all. But Deus Ex the Fall. <laughs> Here we yeah. go. Ew. Okay. Ew. Hold on. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Okay. Uh, For anyone who doesn't know, um, they before before you know Ian and me kind of just basically started bitching about it. Uh, they, they basically tease about a new DSX, a new DSX game. <laughs> you... and, then they, and then they announced the game. It was like, okay, DSX to Fallen. That sounds okay. And then... It turns out to be an iOS title. Game. <laughs> yeah, and then they announced an announce iOS the game. And then oh, God, they calm down. Okay. IOS. Yeah. It just looks like an alpha of human revolution. Because it's an iOS game, Ian. And, uh, yeah, I know, I know, but still, this is why they shouldn't have made it. Why in the iOS? Why not a console game? Oh no, related. Really. Just for Enix. Yeah. Ugh. And it looks like okay. I'm not sure if this is true, but it actually looks like it's based off the plot of the book that was released with Human Revolution. No. And that's the and all. I just wish the game was on a you know <laughs> actual good console, console actual good console. platform. Uh, oh no, related. Really. Yeah, but and the, it's like the gameplay. Ugh, it doesn't look like it controls well at all. I'm just not excited for this one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what were you about? Yes, you can go now. Oh, this glass is sticky for no reason. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> oh, God. I don't um, know why. Like, like, seriously, what the fuck? Also, actually, there's two more games that we're going to target. Oh, jeez. Let's try no, not make this. the last one. one. So try and make this not two hours long. Wait, let me check well, the time. Well, okay, we'll talk about these as short as possible. Okay, and you've got three minutes. Plus. Wait, what? Pac-Man Championship DX Plus. Oh, my God. Who cares? <laughs> Just shut wait, up what? before I kick They're you. Making, wait, what? making another Championship DX game for Pac-Man. Uh, oh, why? Good, right. Discussion over. What's next? Uh, um, the, the one based off the TV show. Fair. What one? Looks bleh. Fair. Looks like Pac-Man World if it was even worse. Um, Alright, well, fucking... Actually, uh, speaking of Deus Ex, I recall the fixed version of Deus Ex, like, what was it? Oh, oh the, the director's cut. cut. It's yes. on PS3. I'm gonna get it. That's all I have to say. Uh, and the other square title screen you was talking about was Lightning with Final Fantasy 13, which who cares? Nobody yeah. fucking cares. Lightning, Lightning, who gives a shit? Final Fantasy 13, no one likes that. Okay, well. Final Fantasy 14, like the PS3. Version. Oh, yeah, they were also they were, they were also talking about 14, which square. 14 is done. You fucked <laughs> up the launch. Nobody hey, gets a fucking. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. One more thing. Uh, Central 4. Uh, oh, that, that, looks that looks a lot better than 3. It looks so funny. Playing as the president fighting aliens. Come on. Yeah. With superpowers, picking up projections and just flinging them across the... It looks um, like just ridiculous fun. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. Well, that wasn't the, the entire point of Central in its first place. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. That's all we have to say. I'm uh. pretty sure. If we want to end this for an hour and a half, we've got 40 seconds. Um... Uh, uh, Oh, quick wrap up, quick wrap up. 
this year, this year's E three was by far the best E three. Yeah, actually, yeah. actually, it was very interesting. A lot it's, better than last year's, anyway. It's, it's, oh, God, it's, God, actually, God. I don't know what you guys, but it was the first E3 I was actually like sitting through the live stream with, and yeah, same. it's not something I'll, I'll repeat because it's ne it's never gonna reach the high of this year. But it was definitely an, a fun experience. Yeah, it was. And I was expecting it to be bleh. I was, yeah. I was I pleasantly no, surprised. I had no expectations except for the Smash Brothers trailers, and I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, one last question. I know it's going on for too long, but one last question. I, I would, it, okay, we've been going on for an hour and a half. I, 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 I doubt a minute would make another difference. Okay, uh, your top three games of E3 this year. Um, <laughs> Destiny, uh, Smash Brothers, and New. Oh, of course, number one up there, New and Tasty. Oddworld, yeah. New and Tasty, by uh... far. Just get up there. Just <sighs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay. Watch Dogs, Rayman Legends, and Infamous Second Son. Jeff KM. Uh, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff KM. Uh, Jeff fuck, Jeff I can't KM. decide. Oh my Jeff. God, no. Jeff, you're always... Uh, Jeff can't decide. Wow, what a shocker. KM. Uh, Smash. I'm gonna say Kingdom Hearts 3 only because it was less gameplay shown and Final Fantasy 15. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is that us, Jeff? You decided yeah. to do it? Oh, uh, let me think. Uh, Infamous 2, Infamous Second Son, New and Tasting Smash. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I don't doubt you in those decisions. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, we're we've, done. we've covered literally everything we wanted to cover. Yay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Really good. Yeah. That was so, our E3 so, wrap up. I I'm going to despise editing this, but whatever. Yeah. Yes, uh, you, you have to edit it soon too before it becomes completely fucking irrelevant. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, that's us. Have a good day. Enough of me, but have a good day, night, afternoon, aquarium. See you later. Later. <laughs>